Buddy, I can start. Uko ready? Niko ready, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is happening. Welcome to another session of the Playhouse. Hey, hey. This one is big. This one is big. Excited about the conversation that I'm about to have. This video, first and foremost, share it with if they, if 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 they are a Kenyan, they need to watch this video. This is going to be one of those conversations that are going to be watched not just today not just right now but i believe in generations to come i'm so glad and privileged and honored to be having this conversation i i, I, I can't even call him a friend because that is degrading the level because of the struggle that this guy has gone first and foremost from a professional point this guy's an author he has a full book and we're going to be talking about that he is a photographer and i'm not just talking about random photography stories on my instagram no this guy won the cnn Africa Photojournalist Award. Not once, but twice. But does he say? But I think more importantly, the, one of the things that we have to say about Boni, he's an entrepreneur um, and an advocate for change. Uh, he's, he's got a space, Power 254, that he has given to not just creatives, but also to people who want to bring about a positive change within Kenya. But above all that, I, I was thinking, how am I going to introduce Boni? I would say that Boni is a 2021 Mau Mau. <laughs> that's part, that's part, one of the best ways that I can describe you. You are a person who is fighting for our country. You are fighting not just for today, but you're also fighting for tomorrow. This intro, Yanni, I'm really sorry. I don't, I don't want to mention the awards you've won because kuna, kuna many, kuna many, and we're going to be talking about all of them. Uh, but most importantly, I want to give you your flowers right now and tell you thank you first and foremost, Boni, what you're doing for this country. I'm excited for the conversation that we have. Hey, very important to say, I've never said this on CTA. The views expressed <laughs> <laughs> on this show. Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Are by the guests. <laughs> it's very early to start like that. <laughs> However, there's a lot that I agree with you. There's a lot I disagree with you, but we're going to have we're going to having this whole conversation. So ladies and gentlemen, boys, and girls, put your hands together for none other than Boniface Mwangi. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, I'm Boni. so excited. I'm, I'm happy, but suddenly I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> My wife told me, uh -huh. uh, go for CTA. It's going to be therapy for you. Uh, nice. And so I'm here. I don't know what I'm going to say. Uh -huh. I have nothing planned to say. So this morning when I woke up, my wife told me, just go. It's your story. You know, we won't get to. Uh, you and so I'm here. I won't pretend. Because you, you uh -huh. <laughs> I, you know, when you become an activist, whatever you do, you have many shells. You know, to me, around, come at a toys. Okay, go so long, get to shell, kako. Do you mean me? So I na so you come up a bella shell. I didn't even get a bella shell. I didn't even know how to walk. I'm scared. <laughs> Uh, Derek over here was saying, hey, you see, where's the Kalia to if you are? You can't have a Anyway, Boni, yes, sir. Let's, let's start this thing. First and foremost, you're here with your son, who I'm very excited because he's going to be hearing your journey. Yes. Uh, but not just him, even his kids are going to be hearing his journey because all this content is going to be available for free for Kenyans to access. Thank you. Um, you have an amazing story, but more importantly, I think what you're doing right now is super amazing. I want to understand you, Boni. Yeah. I've worked with you a couple of times. <coughs> We've worked uh, on different projects together. Yes. I sometimes understand you. I sometimes don't understand you. The whole reason why you're seated here is because me, I want to understand you. And I believe in understanding you and the journey that you've taken. I'm going to begin to understand, okay, so this is why he does this. This is why I may need to do this. That's why I want to start this thing at the very beginning. Yeah. Your bath. <laughs> Let's take it that far. Wow. Uh -huh. So I was born in 1983 in Taveta. Uh, my mother was a trader. She used to trade between uh, Kenya and Tanzania. She met my, ma my dad in a bar. My dad was a district officer in Taveta. Mm. His name is Kamanza. So my, my dad was a DO. <coughs> my mother was a trader and they met up. They met in a bar. He's, my dad says, that when he heard my mother sing, he thought like angels have come from heaven. Mm. My mother's a very good singer, and she even has a recorded song, which I've been trying to find. Mm. They sang about my mother's beauty, and my mother sang in the 60s. So they met, and my mother got pregnant, and I was conceived. What is your mom trading? Uh, my mother was just doing trade. She was a she was a all man of trades between the, the two countries. Mm. So in the Tanzania 70, and Kenya. In Tanzania and Kenya, yes. So she, she was... A, so they met there and I was conceived 
then along the way they fell hold out. Hold on, hold on. You were saying something in the 70s? I born my mother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's not about my mother, it's about me. So my mother my mother was just a straight down. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Let me not talk about my let me talk about myself. Okay, sir. And so so yeah, they they never got married and I I can go back to that but first of all I met my dad for the first time when I was when I was 14 and you he was my dad when I was 17. Okay. Yeah. So you are you the only born from your mother and father? Yes. So my mother had seven kids. Uh, six different fathers. Yo. Yes. Okay. So so what happens in the 80s, my mother, we had another brother uh, born before me, uh, born 79 I think or 78. And so and the dad was Tanzanian. Mm-hmm. And so when my mother was traveling during her trades, uh, the dad's family came and stole that boy. So I've actually have a brother who is a Chaga in Tanzania. When he was taken away, my mother panicked and realized that if I don't move they're going to steal all my kids. So my mother moves to Nairobi. She moves to Nairobi and becomes a Mokorino. Yo. Yes. So my mother becomes a Mokorino, alikuwa na pale unaona pale Nairobi River hapo kwa hiyo about hapo. So my mother used to go to church there. So my mother Mokorino's church was this side and then my across the across kulikuwa na gonyao ya konya the living tent of god where mungiki was born mm. so so across that's where we used to be uh we moved to, we moved to nairobi no we didn't move to nairobi first so how old were you how old in where so i'm trying to i want to remember this confusion so so yeah first to come to nairobi um we come to nairobi my mother takes me to shags but in between my mother is a mukorino so actually my see my name is bonface mwangi mm. however when my mother joined the akorino sect I was baptized. So I was called Harold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Wait, hey, Bonnie, unakimbia, unakimbia. Take take me slowly. I want to understand this. Yes. So, you're born in Taita Taveta. Yes. Is your mama Kyuk? My mother is a Kikuyu, my dad is a Kikuyu. Okay. And so my mother runs away from that place. How old are you at this time? Do you even remember? When I when my mother left uh that side, mm. I was about five or six. So you remember growing up then in in Taita? I, I remember I went I went to school. Ah, tuanze hapo. Usikimbie Nairobi. <laughs> Nairobi tunakamkam. Nilianza shule ya Tetaveta. Nikiwa uh-huh. mtoi. So my first language was Swahili. Mm. So in this confusion of my mother becoming a Mokorino, uh, my mother <coughs> my mother gets gets spooked that one of her sons has been stolen by the dad. And you see my mother had many kids. Mm. So my mother takes me and takes me to Ushago actually. We go first to take into Mokoroine. We go to Mokoroine around 89. Mm-hmm. When you go to Mukuru 89 90 there that's why they removed me from now schooling in a in a school that I was learning so he didn't know kikuyu nothing I go to Gishagi Nyeri Mukuru where I don't know a single word of kikuyu I've never spoken kikuyu and they drop me there so I start schooling now in Mukuru and this time now you're about uh, I'm about if it's 89 and you're born in 83 So I'm about 6 6 7 6 So uh-huh. I actually go to I go to kindergarten nursery 1 nursery 2 in Mukoroine I go to class 1 in Nyeri and then I go to class 2 But now when they took me to Nyeri yes I think I jumped we didn't come to Nairobi before so went to Mukoroine mm. So in Nyeri now I my, my grandmother and everyone says nilikuwa nawasumbua sana because I wanted to go to be with my mom nilikuwa nawasumbua I used to run away from home I get inside gari za kona Nairobi unaza mtoto kona nani nashikisha na rudishwa mtoto kona nani nashikisha na rudishwa i gave them so much trouble in shag so much trouble they told my mother come for your son oh, uh, do you remember um how was school in yeri <laughs> school was, was okay first i was i didn't know the language mm. so now first learn the language So I learned the language I sit around with the other boys. I'm just a Kikuyu now yeah mm-hmm. but now I was so speaking Swahili. I learned Kikuyu but to shago is boring. Uh, it's just I'm not used to this because when you live in Taveta it was just was rural but it was a bit urban. Mm, in fact that, let's go back to Taveta because I want to you see by the time you're saying Nyeri is boring there's an experience that you already had in, in Taveta. Taveta yeah. Taveta I spoke the language nikono ya Kiswahili. Mm-hmm. I had friends. I was another life I nko nisha zoya kushina watu wengine now I'm, I'm removed from these people yeah uh-huh, again to my people who I don't know <laughs> <laughs> so here I'm being taught oh in kikuyu I go to class it's barefoot it's just 
another life and mm. then i can't see my mother because my mother is traveling and then come traveling yeah. and then come and what what happened to your other siblings so we all, we all grew up scattered my first born by that time my first born was already in Nairobi our second born was in Shags our third born was in Shags our fourth born is already disappeared so we are all scattered now when we were moved to Shags me I moved to Shags Nyeri Nyeri mm-hmm. that's around the yeah, central it, province <laughs> yes around that time my mother is, remains in Nairobi comes back to Nairobi uh, meets another guy hooks up gets two more kids what? so it is seven she's pregnant with the sixth born and 90 she has another child hey. and now she's a mokorino like straight my mother was a mini skirt girl uh, afro hair now she's no longer you can't see any part of her skin and then my mother because she was a you know she she lived in the 60s and 70s so it was free love and all that mm. she even had a tattoo of a lion on her hand now because she's become a mokorino she can't wear short sleeves anymore and she's actually sleeve on her hand and she tattoo on her Okay so you uh, let's 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 move so on city I like going slowly you 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 realize I'll keep on bearing you just slow down slow down and the reason why is because I'm trying to especially in this foundational years it's so important to understand because you really understand how much it builds of somebody yes so i've understood you've left taveta you've gone you've been taken to shags, shags. which is uh, Mukur- no? mukoroini mukoroini uh, it's mukoroini zinyeri yes Okay. So, uh, your mom, however, yeah. doesn't stay with you there. She comes to Nairobi. Mm. Uh, so now your cousin Havok and Nini, you're told, "Eh, hey, come for your kid. She comes for you." Yes, but uh-huh. uh, So, interesting enough, um my my <laughs> you know, this, you know, parents and police. My grandmother one time, so mm-hmm. when I was that young before I left up country, is like one time because I used to run away from home, I just want to come to Nairobi to find my mother. Mm-hmm. One day she takes me to the police station and I'm around up or seven up. I can be a nataka kuingia kwa ndani because then I could see people being taken in by police with guns so sema pana nikamwona police wewe usipumbue shosho yako sana utakufunga so they are very very scared I'm crying to show starudia starudia so I remember such incidents yeah how was your relationship with your shosho uh later it became great when I was the, that time it wasn't really great and was 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 there aguka was there my maguka died the year I was born oh, okay paul um so nyeri for you was a no no nyeri was a no no for me it was slow I was with my grandmother she was a disciplinarian and here i wasn't really i was very curious i was always been a curious person i like asking questions i like knowing things so even in class of smart mm I was a smart guy. I think one of the biggest competitors in my class was actually a guy called Steve. And Steve was And what school were you in Yeri? What school is this? Magajo Primary School. Eh? <laughs> Magajo. Magajo. <laughs> It's Magajo Primary School. No, okay. you can Magajo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Magajo Primary School. So my competitor actually was a guy who came from the States. Their family was living in the US and their dad was a driver for the Kenya Embassy in the US. So mm. they moved back. Okay. So even him came with the same culture shock. He was speaking English. Sasa ndo kikuyu. <laughs> then there's another guy speaks so well you go my base to uko that's right how how else do you, what else do you remember about magajo primary school no i remember safari rally actually mm. uh, what it's supposed as a child, as a child uh, going to the river to fish it was it wasn't bad mm. actually it was it was bali you know you know the yeah. city tour is going to bali it was bali it was beautiful and all that yeah yeah but just the, the, the idea that I wanted to see my mother and wanted to come to Nairobi you're not thinking about your dad at this time because your dad was never I, there i don't even know who my dad was okay. actually this concept of dad and pa- like realizing people have parents and have like two both parents i realized that in my teenage years oh okay because i grew up so even growing up when i was in shags and even i came to Nairobi everywhere we lived it was very hard to see people with two parents because mm. even the, like when i was in shags my my uncle was married and he had a wife in chugs but he used to come like once every month so the mm. so even my nephews and my nieces everyone around me their dad used to come once so that thing about dad idea was never in my mind i get it yeah um and siblings you know it's so your siblings i'm hearing of so many siblings but you really don't have siblings because so, you're not together so yes yeah, so no, not this, even one there's not even one sibling who you are pamoja with in yeri so in yeri actually the my my I had two, two sisters in shags but she didn't even know them when I went to shags I had my sister born in 74 I think 
and another one born in 18 shags or 20 shags but you don't know they you are i didn't know they were my sisters because oh. i came from a place where i was just living there and my my da- my brother then was going to high school in tabeta but he was come during holidays so it was me and my mom actually the biggest beef if you ask my family they if you ask them today my mother died 20 years ago 20 years ago they'll say my mother loved me than any other person that's what they say that's what they claim mm. it's actually a claim i don't think so my mother loved me <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, if you ask them they'll also say also you say <laughs> no they, i think cuz they think i am successful in all that but i was as as aggressive as okay <laughs> 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 no, i get it no no it's okay be you <laughs> uh, so so let me tell you so we come to nairobi so this is actually what happens uh-huh. okay now let's transition to nairobi let's come to nairobi okay so i'm a mukorino no 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 bro you've moved fast when you come to nairobi where are you staying so i stay in gara okay so you come the first place you did and this is your first time in nairobi to live Yes like to live live. Mm-hmm. Yes. So your mom was in Gara. Gara. Who is your mom with? Now this guy she's met. This guy she's met. So now we're in Gara in a single room. My brother used to come and go. Uh so now actually it was like a family reunion. So <laughs> so my brother used to come and go. So my brother is not there. We have another sister now in Shags. Alikuwa anaingia alikuwa primo alitoa alikuwa mbigi. So now in Gara we are me my sister Karo the girl born in 87 magi um Wangare born 90 so there are four we have four of us in that room yes four my brother comes and goes and then you have this the other sister Shag so like six of us but four of us in the same house and this guy so it's a single room like six people uh, in Gara but Wait, by single room the whole house is a single room the whole no. house is one room yes one room not yeah. a single bedroom no single room like a single room room okay single room so don't know like kiti huku juu outside it's a garage yeah my mechanics that's around now 92 92 92 92 uh-huh i have the multi party elections and all that so we live in here now this is what happens to my mother my mother's joined the cult So my mother moved from Mamukorino where I was be called Aaron mm. where I used to be go there and play the drum no I'm be a torori get torori get neje so wangi torori get torori get neje so wangi re torori get eh I used to be the one leading songs da hunyo kete gima kwa wainga da hunyo kete gima kwa wainga Jesus ake joya Kehubaguo yo hono kyokoa wainga diga choka karenga renga renga tanga that was me now explain to somebody have, what a mukirino is a mukirino is a is a, like an african sect that is has religious teachings they have christianity as well it's a mix of both mm. so you wear t- you wear you wear a turban in your head mm-hmm. and then you can't show your hair women wear long dresses and then so do they believe in jesus or what what is they, it they believe in jesus and so they, so it's just an african version of that christianity yes it's uh-huh. like um, kurundu rundu ya ya hallelujah israel israeli kudundu it's like israeli kudundu so so in this sect and my mother meets another sect leaves this one and then joins another called african gospel of god church gospel of god church for those who don't know it's up next to desta university mm. where women wear white clothes and men don't shave their beard and then they shave their the head bold mm. that ka church so my mother joins that ka church she joins that church that's interesting so she's doing business in town what is she doing to selling books so she's in Nairobi now selling books okay uh first there's these evictions that happened during uh Kanjo days out of Kuzo town but she's trying to be stable so we moved she ended up having a stall at Apangara market and a bookshop at Kariako that place yes So she they evicted from town and she moves to sell books in Gara and Apo Kariako but now she's in a sect she has two small kids that they are 87 born 90 born she has me she has my sister Karo and now we are here she's in this sect she wants to shave us all our hair this church believes <laughs> that uh, which she did so I'm no longer Aaron 
luckily none of those names were put in my birth certificate yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my mother this is now where things start getting very going downhill mm. so she's in this sect she makes money but the money goes to the church oh and then now uh, she decides to hand over her two daughters to the church because this church has if you go to that church up uh, it's a sonar church they are what call sisters mm. kids when they, they they hand over kids when they're very young to go and serve god for the rest of their life but when my mother hands over the, the kids she's told no 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 for them to be given to this church they must be now prophesied so these kids are not prophesied to come to this church to be given to the church they can attend but they can't become sisters yo and i'm happy they were rejected mm. uh because now i have my sisters and they're doing well so then my mother decides okay but not i'm gonna do i'm gonna be giving the church my money so my mother starts giving the church her money giving her church her money we get evicted from gara that single house the man my mother's cohabiting with disappears and i hope if you guys know sebastian mongai <laughs> on the shame on you he, he works for nakuru county government but i haven't seen him forever i think i haven't seen him in over 20 years he's called sebastian mongai he's a evil man and i said it and your daughters are looking for you so please be a man now <laughs> it is true they were just going to know yeah. what, what did this guy just leave so so this is now early 90s so my mother is evicted from that house when she's evicted what does a woman do she takes my two sisters to shags her other sister goes to live with my my auntie then i'm the only one remaining with her mm. now among all these people no one wanted me because was that sumbua mm. she should say mapana twezi kanae mandi said apana twezi kanae So the reason why I was left with my mother that's when I say <laughs> you're a manga no one wanted me <laughs> and that guy eh so do you and that time I actually that so tukatoka tukatoka hapo let me ask even when you came um there's a story that I don't want you to miss out I want to understand this okay I understand what your mom is doing in terms of joining this cult yeah. and Bira Mukurino joining the cults mm-hmm. I want to hear about you mm. so you when you come from Nyeri to to um, what do you call this county Nairobi yeah Ngara yeah Ngara do you go to school yes now this is a, yes now I go to school okay so now I I joined Pangani primary school mm. I joined you're Pang- like you're in class 3 4 what class class 7 8 no class 2 class 2 90 I was in class 2 yeah class 2 okay around class 2 okay so I joined Pangani primary school boy I forgot to speak Kiswahili kabisa I just speak Kikuyu <laughs> another culture shock uh-huh. so ni kujaribu ku learn language juko but now nilikuwa nataka shago niko nisha na safari rally sasa mimi nilikuwa nga jumli mzama topo shago nilikuwa break time nilikuwa na entertain si kwa maji lakini eh Patrick Diru ndani ya maji. Wow. <laughs> Nikajen Pangani Primary School. Mm. And you met Patrick Diru. I met Patrick Diru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nikaingia Pangani Primary School. Nikaanza kusoma, nikaingia Are you clever? Was... Or has has the shags I, I, affected? I, I might, I've always been smart. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that because your son is here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, 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 was, I was decent. Uh, okay. I joined uh, Pangani Primary School. My aunt is a teacher there. I meet a guy called Mr. Moneki. Oh, fantastic teacher. He was my English teacher. And he had a very nice library. Like that's why I fall in love with books. Mm. So my mother selling books and I have a very school, school good, good school library. I joined the school Pangani Primary School. Uh during when we were not in school, we were fishing tadpoles. We were going to city park. City park was beautiful, there were flowers. We'd walk around like so we'd walk from Ngara all the way to Pangani Primary School. It was very safe. Mm. It was, a, it was just a good life and mm. like an ideal childhood and and you, and i heard you say sunday so sundays you are with your mom at the mokorino no 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 mokorino the, the no car, no in the beginning it, it was mokorino now yes. so it's just mokorino 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 mother mother changes church i follow her to the next church mm-hmm. which is now the one that they go on saturday yeah uh, this church now my did you enjoy it oh, <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you bro <laughs> i think as a child religion gave me trauma like bad trauma so when i joined this my, when my mother joined this cult 
see me and with my mom. So we had to pray 6 p.m., 9 p.m., midnight, 3 a.m., 6 a.m. Like you had to pay like every three hours you're praying. Yeah. Uh, we had to, every Friday, I would be shipped to go to the Valley Road for my soul prayers. So Friday prayers. So you sleep there, then they could night to pray. And it was cold. <laughs> they did not even have a sweater. Mm. It was just cold. And then I decided becoming sickly because of the cold. And then I was told there's when I'm becoming sickly because I cause I cause I stare at the sisters. You know, those because they're gonna I was a child. But because we but I've been staring at them, that's the reason why. So if you go there today and ask them what's that, they used to call me scow because I was a, I was a boy scout. Mm. So even if you go there today, up a valley road, what is scow? It is me. Because I was a boy scout, they call shikana badush no letea. Now, so we in so in Gara. But my mother is taking her man, mother money to the church. So she she loses she everything. Is, everything. Mm. So we get evicted. When you get evicted, uh it ends up being now what happens to us. So my mother, all of us are scattered. Some go shags. Uh, I'm, I'm left with my mother. Me and my mom move. So one of the pastors is called Ndwega. Mm. Now he's in Embu. He's a, he was a, he was a GSU officer, and he was a pastor in that church. He gives us a place to stay. GSU Roraka. So he moved to GSU Roraka. Stop again. Rewind. I tell you, Bonnie, you know, you, 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 there's so much that you are throwing in this story that I've just got questions. So, did you ever help your mom sell the books? Yes, I'm, so, I'm, I'm helping my mother sell the books. At Angara? Angara, Kariako. So, I'm learning the hassle from my mother. That's, that's why I was asking that. So, I'm learning the hassle. My mother had a shop. Because that's, the, I mean, you, we're not talking, oh, it was a shop. It was actually a shop. So, she had an open air market in Gara, mm-hmm. in Moarero. Akauza Kasemaniaji, let's sell the, the shop. It's a Mabati shop. Up up in your mag, Shendos Zango, up on Dani, Shed a shop there. The Dango Deborah booksellers. Mm. So Deborah booksellers, Nana Nozabitabu upon a mother, Namsom na, na, Yedukaki Nauza, Napigona Baridi Nauza, as in that sort of. I was helping my mother. I was learning the hustle. Even during the holidays when my mother didn't have work to do, mm. had work to do, I was the only doing all her deliveries. I was, her, I was that guy. You know why I'm asking this? Mm. Because you have a book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I've seen you hustling that yes. book till so, today. I'm just yeah. trying to see where the roots came. <laughs> the hook in, came from my mother. You know, my mother used, used to have a saying, actually, when you wake up and you learn how to live with people. I think I learned how to live with people from my mom. Mm. That I can live anywhere and be with anyone at any given time. That was my mother. So, I moved to Roraka, yes, to Roraka, Roraka Jesu Roraka. camp. Uh, we live in the Jesu camp. Have you changed schools? No, I'm still in Pangani. So, in the morning, the trucks for Oraka, the JSU trucks, mm. used to drop people. So they used to take people to schools. They drop you along the way. Okay. Then in the evening, you cross over on the other side. The trucks coming back, they drop you. And even if it's an army vehicle and you stop it, they know you're a child of an officer or a soldier, so they carry you. Ah, okay. So I'm going to go to Dude, so you've been friends with these karaoke guys? My dad? fuck JSU. They've been your boys. Who can dani JSU? Who can dani? I was the one who could pick. And my dad was a deal. And one of my, my sisters, actually, the dad was a police officer, the inspector. Mm. Mm. So, because we used to pick a two and I don't know what to do. So JSU come. <laughs> yeah. uh, we stay with this guy. He's a pastor. Then you overstay our stay. You tell us you have to move. We moved to Gedorai, 45. So what's your mom doing? Just selling books. My mom lives in the morning, goes to sell books. I went to the JSU. Good school. I went to the JSU, I went to primary school. Johnny and Rudy. I went to the other side, I went to the JSU. Back I home. I went to the drop, I went to the home. So these guys like, yeah, you guys have overstayed? They have overstayed. So I used to go, JSU came to the JSU. So the guy who, Ndwiga, who was a pastor, had lost his leg. Mm. In an accident, so he was in charge of the mess, yeah, senior officers. So I'll go to the mess of senior officers' seat. I just like of course one, not too to. So I could say I grew up seeing police up close. Mm. I used to wonder why do they just get some blue word like this? I'm sorry for another day. So Nika Nika Apo Jesu to Katoka Jesu to get the right. What year is this now? By the time you're going to get the right, 93. Okay, so this time you're in like class, you're, you're uh, class five. Class five there. Ninety-three, no class. No class four. Class four. Ninety-three, class would come to Gedorai. Okay. To Kaka Gedorai, Kaka Gedorai. Who are you staying with in Gedorai? Gedorai, my mother found a house. 
Okay. Plot tu. Hizi maplot za So she's paying she's paying rent. rent. Yes. So niko gedorai holiday ni after hustle. Kuna mwadha alikuwa na alikuwa ngana ni Chua ije change bado hiyo in pangani. Primary, yeah. Okay. Nikaza kutafuta hustle ya do. Ndio ndako na coach a uh, movie, Mavida. Mm. So I want to watch movies. Hakuna sina do. So kwanza kuiba vijiko na uiba vijiko na uza. Niko na pana. <laughs> Not sustainable nikaanza kuza njugu. So niki huko nikaambia madhara fulani kwa kuzanga manjugu. Nipatie njugu niuze pale nje ya video show. Wajua ndio kuna video nikaanza mm. kuambia manjugu. Mm. So popcorn. Na, popcorn ya <laughs> yeah, popcorn ya ghetto ni njugu eh. Yeah. So ziko na mauti tu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so nikaanza kuza kuza manjugu. So nauza manjugu hapo. But the first day nilipata kazi ya kuza njugu tulienda ukakula <laughs> stock na tukaoch <laughs> nene donye tuliza kidogo tukaoch movie the fire nikavutia job so bila kuna nakusema madopo hapo nje ya video show napigia sisi story movie kienda kushesha na mbingi uone <laughs> tuko gedorai my mother kona gedorai na place nenda shule ni mbali mm. akasema let me move to near pangani tuka move juja road ai sasa juja road is and it's just you and your mom me and my mom now See okay. everyone has been scattered yeah, now. Yeah. It's me and my mom now. Mm. Are they coming some holidays sometimes? When in Gudora you know. So in Juja Road is when the cycle. Okay. So it come move to Juja Road. Juja kuna sa Juja ni mta. Actually no. No other I have left at a story man. Yeah, to Rudy, you know problem here you can always go back. Yeah, we live in my jungle. Yeah, before we moved to before we, my mother moved to JSU. Mhm. After Gara. after Pangaya Ngara. We want to live with a mama a woman called Mama Kasuku in Majengo. And when you live with Mama Kasuku in Majengo, uh, Mama Kasuku alikuwa na sanya yake kutoka Majot kwa deported. He was a big guy. And so this guy said no you can't live here kaanza kusumbua. So mimi na madam tunataka kutafuta hao KJ. Sasa zile hao za KJ kijengo unaingia kwa hao. Ni zapata pale kwanza kuingia. Unapata hiyo hao juu liko majengo na hakuna matoleo mtu amekunia ndani. So first we tried to look for a house where there's no shit in that ah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's now KJ to Kashikije for a while. I wish my mother was alive to fill in some of the gaps of where how mm. I'm staying in Majengo. KJ ndo kanja kujua so kanya boxing. One of my classmates in Pangani Primary School. His dad was a car thief. So, car thief. Yes, he was going to magari. He was going to magari. He was going to magari uptown. Gari ndo ngizo KJ, ile ngizo to place flani hapo. Inachinjwa rangi, number plate ina tu ina kwa tu ina kwa kitu tofauti huko ndio kwa jo sasa huko ndio mtaa sasa mm. now in my jungle actually and this something that actually that was very shocking so my mother never used to tell me but my mother every time i come home every day in the evening she tell me to remove my clothes and inspect my back my, my, my behind huh? yes so there's a lot of sodomy and ah, yeah, 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 that yeah, 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 my mother yeah. is not telling me i'm going to want to see and okay ndio but when i come home in the evening when she say kuja natolewa nguo unaangaliwa ai It was just that Kijo was just Kijo was that tough. Eh. Nilikuwa jana ndango ya Yahya Muhammad akaenda kufunja kupiga pitch kupiga box nuko. It was just it was interesting. So so from Kijo this one on GSU. On the GSU where we got kicked out. Mhm. Then I went to Gedorai. Now from Gedorai you came to again. Juja. Hey. Now Juja is where the formation of my life my character and my worldview was formed now yeah dude it's been formed already <laughs> it's been <laughs> formed now, in all of this just so, maybe not as loud so so 93 happen we come to me to me move now my mother goes and pays meets an agent my mother pays rent and my mother pays rent and i don't know what happened between him and that guy but that guy took that money then gave that house to someone else whoa so we move from gedara with our things we come here and when you move in hakuna nyumba so you know you know it's a nyumba ya gore hivi chini so downstairs kulikuwa na you know like when you doing the stairs there's a, there's a hole there yes. like, under the under the under stairs yeah. we stayed there for 3 months what kala la nje kila kitu as in i used to be mocked in school so we sleeping outside as wait for someone else to get to move out then we get a house that we guy s- disappeared No, he was an agent. Tell someone to talk to you in the So kuna lala tu nje. Our property everything was just outside. Was, so How was that for you tough? Eh, bro, it was humiliating. It was like total humiliation. Because now everyone in school knew that I used to sleep outside. Because now we're sleeping outside kwa corridor tunapikia hapo nje. When people pass and then you know there's nothing valuable for people to steal. Mm. It was just poverty. And then I remember that time um one one day 
I'm going to school. Because now my mother, me, I don't have even have good shoes. I'm going to school, then I find shoes thrown outside. So I pick those shoes, I show my mom, hey, I'm going to poor. My mom takes those shoes, goes and put them new soles. And goes and put them new So, and then another day I'm walking to school, I feel like I have new shoes. Some guys are laughing, hey, we're going to get a sister, who's in the tulip tupa? Is it going to get a sister? Ah, yeah, yeah. The humiliation, the embarrassment, as in it was just a humiliating experience. One of the things about poverty, it's very humanizing. So I was, I was the mockery of the school, the corner check. But even the look was shule. Me, but it's happened because I was a kichongumu, I was a young scow, I was a scout. Oh, scow. Oh, scow. Uh, Eventually, someone moved out. We got a house, a single room, and then so it was like a double room. So the first bedroom we shared with another family of three boys, one 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 lady. Then the other one, it was me and my mom. And then, like at this time, do you do you? I don't even use the word no. Do you feel like you're poor, or, or, is, way, or is this all that you know? I feel like I'm poor because now this leads to where me and my mom started parting ways. So it became very truant. I, I either go to school. I nikakatelo na walimu wote. Shule. You are a menace. Eh, yeah, all the teachers apart from Mr. Moneki. Mr. Moneki was my English teacher. And I, all the teachers said they, they did not teach me. What is it? What is it about you? What what were you doing? You are, uh, when you say kichwa ngumu explain to me. Liko tu mruwi, liko tu. Na ile uru ya mtatu, ile you just been you just misbehaving. Uh-huh. You don't know better. Mm. Because me, me, my mother, Friday, Gioni, I'm shipped to the church. Pray the entire night and be just oh. the day. So Friday, so me, I should program my mother. Mm. Yeah. Friday, church, nini. So around 94. Oh, so it's not your mom hasn't changed. She's still in this same cult. My mother is in the cult and there's no money. She's still giving the money to? The church. Okay. And then I go to that church. I'm told, I, I'm told that there's a, there's a prophet tells me, tells me, you know, Uh, I'm Eli in the Bible. You're Samuel. Like there's there's a lot of shit in the church, <laughs> a lot of nonsense in the church. Yep. So some women do say so up around 94 in the cult. In the cult. Mm-hmm. 94 around 11 years old. Uh-huh. As mimi kaza kuhepa shule nenda kuzurura na machokora nenda tao nenda tao and then around that 94 things the first time I got arrested. Because what happens I 94 95 so i ran away from home i start working uko tao sweeping buses malindi buses kusip mabasi tao stay kwenda shule and then i meet this guy this boy his dad or his parents on the bar wherever i don't remember where it was he had stolen some money so he says ni haji ni kona don come mimi na mombasa we are going to mombasa no dude you just jump on and go who you knew that guy I don't know that guy. It was a young boy. It was my age. Mm. Yeah, mekuja anaenda kwenda ameka mkoa kuna kwenda kwa Mombasa na kona do. Tukana naye Mombasa. Kwa Mombasa kanihepa. Sasa kunihepa mimi na kunihepa kaenda akaenda juu au tapenda akapoteza pesa. And then sasa nikaanza kutafuta kazi ya nini? Kazi ya That's that's the time nitafuta kazi ya houseboy. Eh, nitafuta kazi ya houseboy Mombasa. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> So around 94 kazi ya houseboy Mombasa with this boy tukapatiwa Where you sleeping? So we we got a job in Mombasa Old Town. Hmm. So this Arab family wherever it was tukona la kwa roof. So work was to clean the house and kuchota maji tupeleka kwa nyumba. Tuchota maji tupeleka juu. I'm very young, I'm very tiny. But our idea was we work in this house. We get a chance we steal money, we buy tickets, come back to Nairobi. Come back to Nairobi. But we don't. So eventually me and him had a fallout. And we fought in public tukapigana tukashiko sisi wote wawili. Ti 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 uh, Mombasa railway police station. Tukapatiwa kwa polisi. Polisi akamza wewe ni nani? Eh? Tukapiga sorry eh? Na wewe ni nani? Eh? eh? Mama yako kwa wapi? Eh? Akaniambia tu wewe utarudisha kwenu. Utarudisha Nairobi. So the police put us in the old train. Tulikuwa second class ama first class ni kona bed kujuu eh. banka bed so mimi nikalala juu karao kalala chini <laughs> karao le mkasubui <laughs> nimemkojelea <laughs> goza kazi kwa wet <laughs> leo jana kibari <laughs> nimekojelea askari 
Nikarudishwa <laughs> <laughs> Nairobi. Nikafika pale Relsi kwaambia, "Unajua nyumbani yeye toka uende." Nikatoka nikaenda. Your mom this time now. Uh-huh. My mother my mother doesn't know where I am. So now and what she doesn't care can you've gone been gone for how long this period now to cost to but my mother doesn't how long know. did it feel like you had gone you know, a month phones no like, like a month or weeks i'd been gone so i come back to nairobi i'm taken back to school so you got back to your mom go back to my mom she's like where have you been yeah but I, so mama yangu na kanisa so you want to religion za zingine na kwa watu pambao mm so ikarudi shule i remember in school So there's a guy called Mr. Nyamu. He's now somewhere big in teacher service commission. Who was our headmaster then? Um so what actually happens? I don't know what happened in our class. Uh it was January 1995. Mm. I don't know what really happened in that class. But we were all called to be punished in the teacher's sitting room. Uh in the headmaster's office. And I made it not to be beaten. So there was a globe this globe the big globes that teachers used to have for the map mm. of the world mm. i took that globe that globe and told I, t- i told them if you touch me i'll break it so i want you to open open the door for me and i want to leave so <laughs> i held it the headmaster opened for me the door i walked out put it down out and that's the last time i stepped into that class no that school even that's yeah pangani primary school yeah That's when you class 6 January. Asa boy wako ndio yeye ametoka kwa sasa nimeenda kufesi life. Ni mecha shule. Nikaingia tao. Kwanza nilikuwa na langa nje sasa ngingia tao kazi yangu ilikuwa shamba basi za kwenda kwenda Mombasa. Okay, Boni, let me ask. How do you even know now? So for you you're like I need to start making money. Yes, but you see, but you see because my mother used to sell books. Mm. And we sell books in the streets. I used to see street kids all over. Mm. Machokora kwa kila pali so ah si machokora anaishi independence i want to become independent kai so i ran away from home na nika join machokora so you left school and you left home yes i went so i went nikaenda kwa barabara nikaanza kufagia mabasi and then one time it was in feb 1995 i think it was feb 12 1995 nimeshafagia basi basi nimeenda Mombasa nimelala hapo nje Makara anatembea tu from Kamkunji police station. Kuja kanuza kijana anafanya nini hapa nje? Nini? Ankaambia ah sijui nafanya hapa kazi ya kupangiwa basi they arrested me. Wakanaelekea vagrancy. Mimi ndio yeye nikabukiwa nikabukiwa Kamkunji police station. Then the following day nikapeleka children's court. Uh, the court say trace the parents. Nikapeleka Pangani police station. So on my way to Pangani police station, mbebo na gari ya polisi, nikona mama yangu akivuka barabara. Kasema yule mama yangu, mama yangu. Kasimamisha kama mama kuja Pangani. Mama kuja Pangani akaambia sasa mtoto wako ndio huyu. Tunafaa koti na kutaka kuja uh, kotini. My mother came to court and said, "Oh, I've been running away from home." Now me defended myself. I said, "No, my mother there's no food in our house. My mother is always in church. I have no books." and in the Kamboga family secrets <laughs> my mother does remember that i almost got her jailed <laughs> when jitetea they went and did a children report wakatuma my a children officer to my school pangani primary school mm-hmm. they did a report they found out you are a mess <laughs> they said this man must be committed so i was jailed for seven years into approved school what when i was 11 years 